Hey, it's Mike from Big Fat Backpacker. Hey, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about today about the food that I take with me um, on a backpacking trip. Honestly, it's been, I haven't gone on one yet this year. I haven't gone on a backpacking trip. Um, I've been revamping my gear all year, um, slowly buying new stuff, and honestly, my pack is about 20 pounds lighter thanks to um, newer, lighter weight gear. Uh, and I'll go over a lot of that gear uh, in future episodes um, just because, you know, this food's going to take up a little bit of time. And this is hopefully going to be a two-part deal. Um, I want to go over, uh, I do have some new stuff here, so I want to go over what worked and what, uh, what didn't um, on the trail. I do have a lot of food. Uh, I'm, I'm, this, this, is, this is about a five-day trip that we're going on, four to five-day trip. I'm packing like it's a five-day trip. So let's get started. Uh, Italian dry salami. Italian dry salami is great. It's a cured meat. Um, it's uh, it's got some spices in there, uh, and, and it will last five days without refrigeration, uh, providing you're not in the middle of the desert in 110 degree heat. Uh, then it probably won't last as long. Uh, I am going to be up on the northern rim of Yosemite, and it's uh, you know two weeks into October, so I think I'm going to be fine. Um, that's great for lunches. Uh, that is, uh, it's it's a it's a good thing to have for lunches. Um, also, the uh, tortillas, ten pack tortillas. It's gonna last you fine up there. Goes great with the salami. Um, I can have two a day, uh, and, and as well as the Tillamook cheese. Um, I tried a bunch of different brands of cheese. I really like the Tillamook best. Um, extra sharp. That's the key to getting cheese to last out on the trail. Um, extra sharp cheese does last longer than your mild cheddars or, or any of that stuff or your, your uh, jack cheeses. So extra sharp cheese. Um, here I have uh, just like seasonings. I have crushed red peppers and Parmesan in here from the local pizza place. A lot of my friends like when I bring this kind of stuff. I have a salt and pepper shaker from GSI that fits real well in my cook set. Um, and then uh, this, this, this is, this is <laughs> cheap to do and priceless. Um, mild and hot sauce from Taco Bell. Um, some sweet relish that came out of a, a kit that I'll show you in a few minutes. And this is something that a lot of people don't necessarily um, look into. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, they have butter in packets. And uh, that's great for making mac and cheese or even having just some butter on crackers, or anything you don't need uh, butter for. A lot of times when you make mac and cheese, uh, to, to, to get around the milk and butter, you just use olive oil. If you use enough butter, you don't need milk. It's a little gritty, but it's still pretty good. You can get powdered milk if you want to have mac and cheese. But this is just like a little, a little kit that I take with me, and everybody kind of uses that, and they enjoy me having it. Uh, drink packets, I've got four. Uh, cold brew, Lipton cold brew tea bags. These things are great. This will make a pitcher. I can. This will last for two Nalgene's. I can put it in one Nalgene, let it brew, drink it. Don't have to heat the water up. Uh, fill it again, let it brew, and drink it again. So this will last for two Nalgene's. The pitcher size bags will last for two Nalgene's. I have four of these. Uh, for early in the morning, um, I have some uh, orange spice. Uh, this tea is called Stash. I don't know if my wife drinks it. Um, some orange pie, spice, uh, and then um, the uh, super Irish breakfast black tea. Uh, I, I don't know that it's very Irish, but I do enjoy it. Um, I, I've drinking it before. I like it. Uh, this is one of my favorite things on the trail. Um, Idahoan stuffed potatoes. I know it's kind of a funny name, but uh, this is a staple uh, for backpackers as well. Um, if you pick this stuff up, uh, it's 88 cents for a pack, and one pack is easily two servings. I'm a big guy, I'll eat uh, half a pack for one serving. Anyone else may be able to do it into uh, four servings, three or four servings. Um, but I get three bags of this, and I break them up into halves, and then I put them in one big bag. So, you know, there's six servings of uh, loaded baked potato, Idahoan instant potatoes. All you gotta do is boil water and throw it in. It's really great. Um, this one's got chives, it's got onion, bacon, cheese, sour cream, butter, everything's in there already. So this is really a great way to go. Um, another thing that I really, really, really like, this is Bear Creek. Um, Bear Creek makes a soup, and I didn't keep the package for it, I threw it away because my wife would kill me 
and she's probably going to watch this, so she's going to kill me anyway. Um, <clears throat> but this stuff is really good out on the trail. Uh, you mix it up. It's not a lot of package. Uh, you mix one of these up with, uh, with a whole cup of water. Um, and th this, this is going to make a thick, rich, hearty soup. The reason my wife doesn't like it is because it contains a chemical called, well, it's not a chemical, an additive called palm oil. And uh, my wife is a zookeeper. Uh, she deals primarily with the great apes. Um, palm oil is uh, uh, contributing largely to deforestation, and it's killing orangutans. Um, I still really like this soup. Um, she, 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 uh, she tries to boycott everything with palm oil, which actually, if you look on your labels, it's in a lot of stuff. I don't buy any way. I don't like promote the deforestation of orang habitats, whatever. I just like the soup. Um, so yeah, that's great stuff. I got some odd stuff for breakfast here. Um, odd walla bars. Uh, they're really good. Strawberry pomegranate. I love them. Um, and then I got some Nutri-Grain bars. Strawberry. Uh, I love these things. These will last for breakfast. Uh, another thing that I'm trying this year, <coughs> excuse me, is um, Star Kissed. Uh, lunches to go. You can buy, I, 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 I repackage all of this by the way. Um, it just saves so much space in the food bag. You can buy just the package of tuna for like 88 cents. This is a $1.30. Um, it comes with the crackers and the mayonnaise. And if you want to package it in this, it also comes with, I don't care for relish, I keep it in my mess kit just for other people to use, um, a little tiny spoon. Uh, I, I really think that's overkill for being on the trail. And a dinner mint. These dinner mints are really strong, too. Um, I ate one, and it's kind of like those uh, strips you put on your tongue. Really, really minty. Um, so for all those people who don't like brushing your teeth, uh, get those mints. They work great. Um, so I got four of these. Um, ramen, I mean, enough said. Mac and cheese, repackage that into um, the individual bags along with the, the sauce packets. Um, I really uh, do like the butter in here better than the, uh, the olive oil, but you know, it's, it's your choice. Corn nuts, just a snack on during the day. Um, this is something great. Uh, Ben's boil in a bag, ben, Uncle Ben's rice. This is, um, you know, you put four cups in a pot, boil it, throw the bag in, pour, pull it out, cut the bag open, pour it on a plate. It's ready to go. You can throw all kinds of stuff in there. You can throw tuna, you can throw uh, some soy sauce on it and just eat it up that way. But anyway, it's a, it's a great source of nutrition. Uh, four bags per box, I think like two bucks a box. Really good deal. Um, Stovetop stuffing, uh, I break this up into... Uh, you got to put a half a cup of water in each bag. This is two servings. It would usually come with three, but just to figure out what serving per how much water, I ate one. I know, big surprise, right? I ate one. Um, so turkey stuffing mix. They also have pork and they have regular. Uh, I like the turkey best. Um, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are something that I, I can't seem to go on a hiking trip without. Uh, they're great to keep in the side pouch of your pack. Uh, start chomping away on them. Um, you know, while you're while you're on the trail, great source of salt. Um, so, you know, that's good. Uh, this is also something I'm trying new. Uh, Land of Lakes for 30 cents makes these little um, packets. This is one cup of um, this one is French vanilla hot cappuccino. So that's uh, French vanilla, classic cocoa, caramel. That one's not a cappuccino. Uh, this one is a French vanilla cappuccino. Amaretto Italian, Amaretto Italian. Yeah, so I haven't tried these before. I'll get back to you and let you know how those things were. Anyway, um, the trip is coming up here in a couple days, and um, it's been snowing up where we're going, so I hope that that, that subsides. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you know how this stuff goes. Thanks. And so this is five days of worth of food. Uh, I put my food in this little granite gear, compression sack, it's an extra large. Um, I got it for a present or something, so it's got to be good for something. Anyway, five days worth of food fits in that space right there and weighs 11.2 pounds.
Ah... <sighs>